with our I-24 News correspondent, Jonathan Sasha Doty. Hi, Jonathan. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So exciting news. We know the bare minimum, it seems. It's a baby boy born at 424 London time, 8 pounds, 6 ounces. What else can you tell us? So really, there's not a lot else that we know at the moment, but of course we know all the background and facts that we've been collecting all along, uh, all the way through this exciting wait for this big moment. We know, for example, that this is the first time since the time of Queen Victoria, that there are three generations of heirs to the throne alive at the same time. We know that the Queen's gynecologist held off his retirement in order to be able to help deliver this child. That's Dr. Marcus Setchell. And we know that the Prince of Wales was in York this morning, getting on with his ordinary day-to-day -day activities, keeping very calm. But now, of course, the whole royal family will be excited and as pleased as the nation to hear this exciting news of the birth of a boy who is the third in line to the throne of Great Britain. Was this an especially long period of labor for her or did things go smooth as far as we know? So as far as we understand, it's been around 13, 14 hours, which I guess I'm no gynecological expert, but is fairly typical for a woman with her first baby. It's certainly not out of the ordinary. But of course, the baby was about a week late after the expected due date. So we still don't know and maybe never will whether the labor was induced this morning or whether it uh, came on naturally. But either way, the important thing is that as we understand it, the baby has arrived safely and sound and is of a good weight. And that bodes well for the royal family, who now will be looking forward, hopefully, to a little bit of privacy, if at all possible, while the world's press are descending on London to report on this event. So no no complications with the birth. Well, changing we, importance. We well, not that. as far as we know. Not as far as we know. Well, that's definitely uh, what's going to lead me into my next question for you. So what happens now? We know the party has been going on outside the hospital there. I imagine they're going to wait. The press and everyone else waiting there will, will wait until the family leaves and heads to the palace. What will happen now? Uh, hard to say. Uh, it's clear that there are a lot of people waiting outside the hospital who are perhaps hoping for a glimpse of a royal family member or of the new arrival. Uh, it's clear also that the world's press were out there were hoping for the same. And uh, they may well be disappointed, but they may also get a little glimpse of somebody that they will recognize from their TV screens and banknotes. Uh, however, it's uh, not clear exactly what happens next. As I said, I imagine that the royal parents will be hoping for some degree of privacy in what is essentially a very private moment for them as well. While they are public figures and while uh, they are now the parents of the third in line to the throne, it's only reasonable that they might want some quiet time with their new baby like any new parents would. So hopefully it will be the case that people can grant them a little bit of quiet time and privacy. And I imagine that that's what they'll be requesting fairly soon. Well, I understand that there's a traditional method of announcing the birth of uh, the royal baby, but it seems that the media may have trumped that process. Is that true or? Well, the traditional method that you mentioned is uh, exactly right. That's what they had said would happen, which was that the notice would be taken from the hospital, driven to Buckingham Palace, and traditionally it would be placed either on the gates of the palace or on a stand just behind the gates so that everyone can see. I do understand that that's happened, um, but also uh, earlier in the day, uh, uh, Kensington Palace and Buckingham Palace did announce that they would in fact also issue a press release, uh, which doesn't uh, sound like the most high-tech uh, thing to happen in 2013, but that was their concession to modernity in that regard. And of course, as soon as the word got out, then I'm sure it's been reported on Twitter and Facebook and social media and rolling news channels all over the world. But what came first, I, I can't tell you. The good news is that the baby has arrived safe and sound and that there is a third in line to the throne. Well, thank you very much, Jonathan, for the update. We'll come back to you later for more details. That's uh, I-24 News correspondent Jonathan Sasha Doty there in London.